Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to this final valedictory session. Uh, as some of you would be aware, uh, we don't have valedictory speeches in this session, but we try to get a very quick and succinct feedback from each and every remote center. Uh, I know this time we have a very large number of participants. So what I would like to do is we would like to go through each remote center and uh, request uh, not the coordinators, but one or at most two participants to give their very candid feedback uh, covering how did they like this workshop, what was the usefulness that they felt they got from this workshop, and if any quick suggestions they would like to make. We'll be noting these things down, and of course, taking action to improve uh, the workshop delivery for the future. This has been a very short workshop, but I believe that this would have been useful. Uh, I will request all the remote centers, there are hands being raised. Uh, may I request all remote centers not to raise hand. If they have any urgent message to send, they should just send a chat message. Uh, can somebody else be looking at the chat? So if there is anything urgent that is required from our side, uh, such as you are not getting audio or video or something, please send the chat message. Uh, what we will be doing is, we will be going over to each remote center in alphabetical order. We will not be able to spend more than two, two and a half minutes per center. So I will request the participants from each center to be ready in the alphabetical order with a mic in their hands so that whenever we go over, you can quickly introduce yourself and make a comment. I would also request the coordinators to permit any one participant to speak on behalf of uh, all the participants. So I now presume that uh, people would have identified someone to speak from. Uh, I will read the names of first three institutions where we will be going. It is Amal Jyoti College, Kerala will be the first one. This will be followed by Amruta Coimbatore. This will be followed by Amruta School of Engineering at Bangalore. This will be followed by Anna University, Chennai. And there are actually three centers in Anna University, Chennai. So we will in fact go to each one of these three because it is important that we look at Visually, we look at uh, each and every center where participants are sitting. So with this, and, and of course, we'll follow all the other centers in the alphabetical order. I will now be going over to Amrita Koyam tour. Uh, good afternoon, sir. And uh, it's a very indeed a pleasure for us. And we are very much thankful and grateful to IIT Bombay professors and your team who have conducted uh, this workshop and uh, really it is very much beneficial for us, those who are beginner in research field. And it has uh, given us uh, so many guidelines that we have to follow before getting our papers rejected. And uh, we want that uh, this type of workshop also should be organized in future also. Uh, uh, this paper, this uh, function was organized uh, for conference paper only. So we want that uh, all other types of papers also should be covered by organizing this type of workshop. And uh, some software analysis also, so what are the things we have to write in, uh, when we are going for some software analysis and uh, how much lengthy the papers and all it should be. Uh, theoretical, experimental, some exploratory research work it is there. So related to those, we want uh, some workshop again, it should be conducted by IIT Bombay. Once again, I want to utilize this opportunity that Amrita University uh, personnel, those who have participated in this event, they are very much grateful to you, sir. Uh, yeah, we are M Tech students of Amrita Coimbatore and uh, it's been a great exposure for us. Uh, thank you so much for this session, IIT Bombay and your team. And uh, we were just uh, got a lot of uh, exposure in terms of professional and scientific writing. And uh, the question answer session, it really cleared a lot of doubts that propped up in our minds. And uh, regarding the latex software, uh, you said you would be conducting a, work a workshop uh, I guess you should put that into practice because it would be very, very beneficial for all of us uh, out here, especially the student community. I think uh, there was a 
proposal made yesterday yeah regarding that uh, on a saturday or sunday that should be possible to do indeed it is of much use to most people who would like to write not just papers in conferences and journals but even technical reports such as mtech project reports or even be project reports and so on uh, thank you we'll now go over to amruta school of engineering bangalore uh, over to you bangalore Uh, good afternoon patak it's uh, devraj uh, uh, i'm working in east point college of engineering in bangalore uh, thank you very much uh, from the iit bombay faculty for organizing this uh, such a, a workshop on writing how to write a effective conference paper and uh, we i think what are the doubts we had like how we need to plan while writing a conference paper or a journal paper all those things is clear but still under the nme nmeict umbrella i have two questions like uh, most of us we will be writing a review paper is there any plan is there any plan like uh, in the coming uh, years or coming months for to conduct a workshop for how to write a review paper and one more thing like we will be submitting this uh, my second question is like we will be writing the paper for the conferences and most of us we are in the interest of how to uh, organize a conference is there any protocols which we need to follow even if there is some kind of a workshop conducted by iit bombay it will be very great help for us actually i think two things is what we are looking at thank you patak thank you so much uh, both are very useful suggestions uh, we will we'll try to see whether uh, uh, i think sahana would like to add something yes sahan i'd like to respond to the second uh, comment about uh, organizing a conference we are not planning a workshop as such right now on that but if you are serious about doing something what you can do is go to an actual conference which has been or which is being organized and be there for the days during the conference talk to the organizers get some tips during and that way you'll also establish contacts with the people there and you can ask them the questions you have on how to organize so that would be one way of uh, learning how to i, I would partially mm -hmm. disagree with professor sana murthy because uh, while you could get useful information by asking questions you may not get proactively all the information that is required uh, to ensure that you organize the conference properly sure uh, there are write ups available there are protocols available on conference organizing for example we when we organized the very large database conference the international conference in 1996 in india uh, we were amazed to see that the protocol defined the preparation work to start from t minus 3 years so there is an exact time table of events that must happen last date of submission of papers review of papers whole lot of logistics arrangements etc etc there are indeed some write ups we will try and see whether we can get some of these write ups at least which could be relevant and if they are in open source we'll put them up on the moodle so that all of you can uh, yeah Uh, i think the the vldb conference definitely is it should be available but there would be many conferences for which such write up should be available uh it would not be a bad idea sometime uh, perhaps to dedicate a one hour or two hour of uh, session on conference organization we could perhaps combine it with another half a day session so let me see if two disparate things a half day workshop on latex and a half day workshop on conference organization uh, could be arranged uh, on a single day sometime during the weekend thank you very much for this suggestion ieee uh, has a big page on conference organization so that would be one resource so can we uh, can we uh, sort of locate these urls and post them on few of them at least whichever uh, firoza can you take this up with madam and take the uh, find out these urls and post them on to the we'll do that thank you we'll now go over to the dkts ichal karanji over to you dkts sir the workshop was quite, quite very nice it has touched to all the aspects of uh, technical paper writing and it has been helpful to us as well as our participants most of the participants in our institutes are uh, right now doing phds it is helpful to them also sir exercises that you have given is quite excellent they are actu actually according to the reputation of iit mumbai so i uh, think that this is the most important point in the workshop conducted by iit is that the assignment given are quite very nice sir i have one more request to you we have 
continuous problem in, relati in relation to the audio. So if you make a trial on this audio and suggest some standard uh, audio hardware that we must use and at, at our end, that may solve the problem in this area. Thank you very much. Uh, good points both you mentioned. Uh, thank you. I, I understand that uh, you like the assignments. We try to keep the assignments and exercise at the same level. Your suggestion for uh, indicating some standard equipment for not only audio but for audio and video is very useful. I have a feeling that our audio video team must have sent you the list of equipment. But what we will do is uh, much before any formal workshop takes place, I will uh, ask my team to circulate the list of recommended pieces of hardware and software to everybody once again. And we will specifically request you to interact uh, on AVU on one of the days in coming weeks so that we can cross check and sort out this problem. Thank you so much. We will now go to the Institute of Road and Transport Technology, Erode. Over to you, Erode. Good afternoon. I am Dr. Nirmal Kumar from Kong Engineering College. Uh, first, I would like to thank the IIT Mumbai, I am sorry, IIT Bombay for conducting this kind of uh, workshop for writing effective conference papers. On small suggestions, sir, uh, in addition to this uh, writing effective conference paper, can we have some suggestion on writing the journal papers also? It would be very useful for us because uh, mostly in journals only we will be sending it to some other uh, other, other countries, etc. So this can also be included in the next uh, uh, workshops or conferences. And second thing, sir, one small suggestion you had asked to give the feedback uh, about this uh, workshop within today evening, sir. Can we have time till tomorrow evening, sir, because we are not having sufficient system at present, sir. Uh, yes, I will first answer the last question and then I will hand over uh, uh, the responsibility to Prasanna Murthy who wants to make a comment. Uh, yes, we can keep the response uh, uh, form open. The objective of keeping it till the evening is that many people who will leave your campus physically may not then find time to go to the Moodle independently and update or give the feedback. That is the reason we had said this, but we take your suggestion because of the lack of systems. I will request our organizers to close the Moodle page only tomorrow. And for your other comments, Prasanna. Yeah, hello. Uh, so as we had mentioned earlier, they will be open till tomorrow. Professor Fartuk's uh, suggestion is valuable that if there is any participant who has trouble accessing Moodle and who might not find a system later, please use the rest of the day today and fill out your form. But it will be open till tomorrow, so do not worry about that. About your first question, uh, first uh, comment that uh, you would like some workshop on journal papers. The only comment I have is that most of the things we discussed today and yesterday also are also applicable for journal papers. We did discuss a few times what are some subtle differences and so on. And you are right, there may be a f one or two extra topics that might need additional um, discussion. But most of what we talked about, how to plan the paper, how to organize, what are the important points you have to pay attention to are similar. So I think if you want to write a journal paper, please go ahead, use the same guidelines that you heard today and yesterday. The exercises will help you even for a journal paper. Thanks again for your comments. Uh, I would only add that we will keep this in mind, uh, an announcement which I had briefly made about conducting a uh, one week long workshop on research methodologies would anyway cover both the conference and journal paper writing. Uh, but what Prasanna Murthy says is important that uh, we could use the basic techniques and methods that we have discussed in these two workshops for writing any kind of technical papers whether they are for conference or journal. Of course, there are some uh, specific aspects of journal papers. And uh, yes, we will try and cover it some other time. There appears to be one more observation from the center. Uh, back to you again. Hello. Yeah. Good afternoon to all. I am Pungadi doing ME in Coimbatore. So I am very glad to uh, give feedback on this workshop. So the presentation was really good. And we got uh, some uh, basic ideas about how to write a, a conference paper. And also we are expecting uh, some more practice 
organization uh, to write up uh, journal papers and also uh, how to uh, form the papers to present in the IEEE uh, IEEE website. And also, here I need to say one thing. Uh, here we are providing the IEEE certificate and the financial support only to the staff members. But we teach students are respecting this IEEE uh, certificate and also the financial uh, support. So, can you consider this? for uh, certificate and also financial support to PG students also. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me make a quick uh, response uh, to the financial aspect of the workshop. Uh, perhaps all participants are not aware of this, but in my original mail which was circulated to several teachers, uh, we had specifically, I had specifically said and I would like to emphasize this again to all the participants, students or teachers. Uh, please understand that the government of India has provided very large funds so far to conduct these workshops, knowing fully well that people need to first understand whether these workshops are useful to them or not. However, this kind of funding cannot go on perpetually because there are more than 2 lakh teachers, there are more than 10 lakh students, even the MTech and PhD students are also substantial in number. What is supposed is that if there is an activity which I believe it is beneficial to me, I should be willing to spend either from my pocket or my institute should be willing to support me for any funding that is required. Let me tell all of you that eventually all these activities, if they are useful, they will become cost based activities. Consider this, in all your colleges there are large number of undergraduate students who are studying. There is of course a lot of expenditure that is made on those students by the institutions, by the government and so on. But don't we charge them a fees which they or their parents pay willfully because they believe that they will get something useful. It is not just the degree but knowledge. In exactly the same way, these workshops, if you find them useful, if you find the certification useful, if you find the contents useful, there is no reason to believe why we would not be ready to spend money from our own pockets to do it. The problem is not of uh, inadequate funding or not funding. The problem is we cannot fund one set of people and not fund another set of people. The NME ICT is strictly, this particular project is strictly meant for teachers. So, whatever facilities we can support at the remote centers and other places can only be done for teachers. This is a legal requirement. We cannot spend money otherwise. So, I appreciate the concern of the students, but I would suggest this. If you find that these workshops are useful, you should be willing to spend money from your own pocket. We talked about research conferences. When I, I have attended a whole lot of national and international research conferences. Even when I am invited to present a paper, I pay full registration fees. I spend my own money for stay and travel and attend those conferences. Because that is right in the spirit of attending conferences. I believe that I will benefit from attending a conference, so I must do that. Indeed, outside India, if you go to any research conference, there is absolutely no funding support that any participant in a research conference receives from anywhere. The conference organizers never provide any funding. People make their own arrangements, they spend their own money. Occasionally, their own parent institutions might be providing the support. I am sorry for taking a long time to answer this question, but this is an important point that I would like to make. That as we progress further, as we conduct more workshops on, of shorter duration on such important topics and for longer durations on regular topics, Increasingly, it will be expected that the funding support will become less and less and less from the government as we increase the number of participants across the country. This is bound to happen because there is ultimately only a finite amount of money that the government or any other organization can spend. I would request all the participants indeed to take this up with their own institutions and come up with some model. I remember many years ago in 1984 when I had gone to Indore uh, to set up the Department of Computer Science there, 
and some of my colleagues uh, were to be sent to attend some conference. Uh, the director there came up with a very interesting formula. He said that let the participant spend some money from his pocket and let the institute will spend some money. So it was arranged that 50% expenditure was to be borne by the teacher and 50% was borne by the parent institution which was sponsoring the teacher to attend the workshop. I would suggest that please work out and, and start thinking about these models for the coming workshops. Uh, thank you so much. We will we'll now go over to Jabalpur Engineering College. Very warm good afternoon to all. Myself Rahul Jain, M.Tech student, IIT Bombay including first time to participate, M.Tech student, we are thankful for that. Workshop is very practical and informative in nature. All questions get cleared, learned minute things uh, for uh, quality exposure, Pre uh, prevent paper to reject. There should be quiz round also at the end. Please. Special thanks to Professor R.B. Sunoj on scientific presentation skills, very, very practical in nature, and Professor Sahana Murthy cleared all the queries. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, sir. On uh, behalf of the, all the faculty members, uh, once again, I sincerely uh, pay my thanks to IIT Bombay to uh, arrange the workshop on such important topics. Uh, still, some uh, question is un unanswered due to time, lack of time, like cross-reference and their importance in conference, uh, camera-ready paper, and so on. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I would request that, uh, uh, it's good that uh, you mentioned that there are some questions which are unanswered. I am very glad about that happening. In fact, there should be many more questions. One of the objectives of such workshops is to churn our minds so that more questions arise in our minds. It's a sign of a, a very good thinking mind and I am glad that you are doing it. I will only suggest the following. We will keep the Moodle open for quite some time. Moodle is not going to close. Please use Moodle for any further interaction. Post your questions on Moodle. And we'll make sure I'll request Professor Sanamurthy uh, to uh, uh, keep regularly looking at these questions and answer these at some regular frequency. Uh, let's say that we will keep the Moodle open for at least two weeks. Uh, two weeks is fair. So we'll keep the Moodle open for two more weeks. And any questions that are raised, in fact, there is no reason why you could not use this for some kind of a collaborative effort within yourself. Uh, somebody could start a discussion forum on a point and others who wish to contribute to that discussion could continue to do so on Moodle. So that's the observation that I would like to make. Uh, any other point Jabalpur would like to make? Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Uh, we'll go over to KJ Somiya College, Mumbai. Sir, overall session was very good, sir, no doubt about this. And it organizes in a well manner. Information given overall session, it was very useful. And it is, again, it is, it is useful for the PhD students as well as who want to do the PhD in future also. But I wanted to make uh, one thing that uh, question answer session, the time was given very less. I think you should think over that and uh, people should be given more time to ask the question. Then the practical session which you have performed, it should be on the technical basis because we are all the technical people. Uh, overall, is, it is very good. We are, we are waiting for the next program that is a research methodology program. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, this observation of trying to uh, provide more time for question answer is well taken. Uh, the problem is that when you increase the number of participants, the total amount of time that we can spend on question answering gets limited. But we'll keep that in mind. Actually, Professor Sanamurthy did tell me that yesterday she tried to run an interactive session. That's right. did you you did? Session. Yeah. And, and today, but... Uh, uh, expectations are more. We'll keep that in mind. In fact, uh, there is no reason why we could not think of making a special provision 
for a longer workshop at some two intermediate portions where we will just say it will be interaction and question answer. Thanks for that suggestion. We are going over to the Kakinada Institute. Over to you. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, thank, thank you once again for giving this opportunity to host the uh, today IST workshop, sir. And uh, sir, uh, the workshop went really very well. All the participants uh, learned a lot, and uh, it is very productive and fruitful workshop, sir. And uh, sir, actually, I I have noticed one point, point sir. Uh, we are facing big problem with the uh, speakers uh, in the audio system, sir. One speaker is a uh, voice is clear, and other speakers voice. is a big problem so there should be any standard system for audio sir and uh, here uh, he would like to over to prabhakar so thank you for organizing such a kind of wonderful workshop so but generally the workshop uh, in sir but why don't you conduct in a subject wise like computer science or uh, especially computer science data mining or software engineering like that based on the subject wise then it will be give added advantage to the research scholars. And one more thing is, uh, <coughs> nowadays, uh, if you conduct a conference uh, at IIT level, it will be good for us, sir. So, and uh, one more uh, research methodologies like that, it will be give full advantage to the student communities. And last point, sir, uh, if it is fully funded by the IIT, then it will be helpful, because particularly in the Andhra Pradesh, because of reimbursement, all the private college engineering staff will not get the salaries in time, sir. So according to you, 50% of uh, faculty contribution is okay, but because of the delay in salaries, we face a lot of problems uh, to contribute something to the research, sir. Thank you, sir. So if you conduct the conference, it will be good for us, sir. Thank you so much. The suggestion uh, to perhaps conduct a, a specific uh, subject or topic oriented workshop is, is not a bad idea, but that will almost amount to conducting a mini research conference uh, for that particular topic. We will keep that in mind. About funding, I have already made my observations. We will keep in mind the difficulties that participants face, but there is only a certain uh, point up to which uh, we can extend funding support. Uh, something will have to be done on this in future. We will keep that in mind. Let us go over to KCES Jalgao. Thank you for sir, uh, uh, all the sessions uh, you have conducted is uh, uh, very good. Uh, this is useful for all the participants. Uh, but uh, uh, I request that the, there is a, a workshop on uh, latex uh, is uh, uh, necessary for the same. So from all the participants I request you uh, to provide such kind of uh, workshop for the same and all the sessions you have conducted on writing effective conference paper is uh, a very well uh, over to you sir thank you so much we already noted your desire uh, for the uh, latex workshop and we'll definitely do something about it very shortly the next is the kolapur institute of technology at uh, kolapur sir? Uh, the participants here are happy with the contents of the course. However, uh, I have some uh, requests. The organizing, uh, organizing and planning of the papers, the contents were very good. The examples were also very good. But I feel that they are uh, good in the sense uh, for, from, from the point of view of uh, senior faculty. However, a uh, number of participants here are young. They are pursuing their PG, maybe MEM tech. And in that sense, uh, the suggestions were if you could have considered some technical papers and uh, uh, discussed onto that, it would have been very helpful for our others. And the other uh, request is, on the similar lines, can there be workshops conducted for uh, PG students and PhD candidates, maybe on research methodology or latex? Thank you, over to you, sir. Thank you very much. This is a good suggestion. Uh, although the mandate is for us to conduct the workshops primarily for teachers, but uh, having seen that we have established a, a infrastructure, I will personally be speaking to the MHRD officials uh, to permit us at least to use this infrastructure for conducting a workshop, especially for uh, students 
and we can also incidentally include those faculty members who are pursuing their ME or PhD. But a student workshop, one problem would be that it will not be a funded workshop. If uh, the student members you feel that they will be willing to contribute or the colleges could contribute, we could certainly hold a workshop for teachers. Could I go over once again very briefly to Kolhapur uh, to find out uh, do they think uh, such, a, such a system would be feasible? If I get permission to run a program exclusively for people who are doing PhD and ME, let's say students or teachers, it doesn't matter, but it could be a completely self-financed workshop. Do you think it will be useful? Your comments are over to you. Yeah, yes, sir. People are here uh, interested to attend such workshops, and if, even if they are paid, uh, people are willing to uh, pay this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very encouraging response. Thank you, Kolapur. Uh, we will now go over to Panvel. Uh, so over to you, Panvel. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. On behalf of Pan uh, Pillai Institute of Information Technology, I would like to thank you all for conducting such an effective workshop on uh, writing effective conferences papers. It was very well organized. Uh, we got a very good insight uh, by Professor Sahana Murthy. Uh, and even uh, uh, Professor Sunoj has given very good guidelines for making effective scientific presentations. We are really very thankful for you and we are looking forward for such good workshops. Over to another participant. Afternoon, sir. I am very much thankful to the Government of India, the Department of Human Resource and Development. The first time I think this type of workshop is organized and such a huge response. In the Panvel itself, more than 135 participants are present here. So by attending these two days workshop, I think everybody is quite confident. In the coming conferences and journals, we can see the papers from the Bombay, New Bombay, will be more than that. So I am very much thankful to you all, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I indeed look forward to a greater research contribution in terms of published papers from the large crowd of 135 people. All the best. IMCC Pune is the next institute in my list. I'll go over to IMCC Pune here. Yes, over to you, IMCC. Hello, good afternoon, sir. I am Ajay Pradhan. I am working in D.Y. Patil College of Engineering here in Akurudi, Pune. Uh, the workshop was really very good. And in fact, uh, I am coming from an industry background of almost 25 years. And still, I am uh, really new to this particular area of uh, writing paper. And I found it really a very good learning for me. And I hope that this will help all of us here to present good papers in the coming conferences and in the journals. Thank you, sir. Over to you. Thank you very much. I am now going over to MNIT Bhopal. Okay. Yes. Hello, yeah. Good afternoon, uh, Sharan Nam. We we all the participants from Manik Bhopal are really glad to be a part of this workshop and the workshop was very useful to all of us and we could clear all our doubts on writing the research paper and we hope to see uh, all of us writing a quality research papers and we really look forward to more such workshops. The only uh, point that I want to add is due to the limitation of time and the problem with the audio visual transmission also like all of us could not ask the questions and the questions that uh, other remote centers were asking there was so much repetition in that so if the questions can be collected a day prior and the selections can be made at your end so that only the specific questions can be asked and in this way all of us will get a chance and the questions will also not be repeated and more of the queries can be resolved yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for your observation. Indeed, you make an important point. Uh, I must uh, state two things here. Uh, sometimes what you feel uh, that questions are being repeated is actually, it's not exactly the same question that gets repeated, but a certain different flavor is brought out by another similar question. So sometimes uh, such questions which I would call not repeated questions but complementary questions are useful. However, 
the point that you made is definitely true this is something that we have decided to follow in our longer uh, two week or one week workshops uh, where we would request people to send their questions post their queries on moodle uh, and we consolidate those queries classify those queries and answer them one by one uh, subsequently so maybe we'll keep that in mind next year thank you for that suggestion uh, nirma university ahmedabad uh, over to you nirma good afternoon sir i am hitesh mehta a faculty member of sarvajanik college of engineering technology surat uh, first of all i want to congratulate the eclavia team and the all professors who are delivering speech because i don't want to spend more time to take names so congratulate to you even we are very well satisfied from our reward center nirma so i congratulate to coordinators of nirma institute also now i want to just tell four points two will be the feedback and two will be your two will be the suggestions so first uh, this workshop is really well planned and uh, it helps a lot who are writing a paper and, and who want to write a papers so sir all all your faculty should be ready to refer more and more papers so that is a uh, first uh, feedback from my side especially i thanks to professor sunoj for uh, giving a great uh, acting and speech both for presenting your work so these are the two feedbacks and uh, suggestions from our side sir the examples which are taken during the workshop they are from more on english based literature so try to take from technical side so we'll get more idea to write each and everything in a proper way and the second suggestion that in this workshop we are not getting the impact factor of different conference and general papers so if it is possible kindly upload a pdf file in a moodle so we will get that idea over to you sir thank you so much we will consider your suggestions and try to see how we could go ahead and implement those uh, let's go over to nit warangal now this is professor bivi aparao dean research and consultancy and also workshop coordinator uh, the workshop is very inspiring and need of the hour it is well organized and disciplined workshop the participants enjoyed the workshop and also learnt a lot it's reinforcing with what has been practiced by some research supervisor and also research scholars here there are several good practices mentioned which are being uh, practiced and such workshops will definitely improve the quality of papers published by indian researchers in journals of good impact factor the quality of papers in indian journals and also conferences also will be improved and uh, it has uh, the workshop has also provided inputs for revision of the syllabus of english for technical communication which is mandatory course for all the research scholars in our institute and uh, based on the it has been uh, an idea in our institute to conduct workshops within our institute within each department and to various engineering colleges in the state of andhra pradesh now on the similar guidelines we would proceed organizing a series of workshops uh, not through video uh, uh, actual interactive workshops at nit warangal so it has given several new directions to nit warangal to use its human resources in conducting such workshops in a big way thank you now one of the participant would like to share his views yeah please I'm giving to the participant good afternoon sir i am research scholar from nit warangal at the outset i would like to thank the wonderful team at iit bombay for making this today workshop a fruitful one as a budding researcher from this workshop i have learnt a lot especially how iterative improvement and discipline helps me in writing a conference paper and also in presenting the paper in a good conference from this interaction from these two days it made me a confident researcher for presenting my findings in forthcoming conference of my domain expertise thanking you thank you so much uh, i must i must thank you so much i must appreciate uh, professor rao's observation that nit warangal is planning to conduct such workshops for 
teachers from other engineering colleges there uh, and, and even for others. I would like to only state once again something which is well known but perhaps not remembered that all audio visual lectures uh, which are recorded, audio, audio visual recording of the lectures as well as all the material that is on the Moodle, all of it after final editing would be released in open source. And not only your institute sir at Warangal, but any other institute wishing to use these resources as a part of conduct of their own workshops, please feel completely free to do so. All the material is actually released under Creative Commons license and therefore it is repeatedly usable, modifiable and usable as in a modified form as you wish. Sahana would like to make I just want to uh, reiterate what Professor Fatik said. I think this is by far the most encouraging comment we have received so far that if you are considering a technical writing course and you would like to use our ideas and materials, that is highly encouraging and please go ahead. Uh, and also a quick hello to Professor Somyanjanu there. Thanks. Uh, thank you so much.